Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Stadium! We are exactly where we left off last time, ready to begin the second half of the Pika Cup Tournament. So let's go right into Battle 5. This time it looks like he's gonna have... Wow, I was gonna say all electric types, but he's actually just got three. He's also got a water type and... Hmm, fighting type and normal type as well. I think I'm gonna start off with my Nidoking. That'll be good against most of those. Not so much against the, the Kingler though. So I guess I'll use Starmie for backup against that. And I don't want to bring Gyarados because the electrics. I need definitely something to tank the electric, which will be Kadabra because he's a good special tank. Of course, Nidoking King is good against electric as well because he's part ground. He'll be immune to that. I'm just afraid of that Kingler mostly. And of course he starts with Kingler. Great. Oh man, I guess I'm going to have to swap to Starmie. Now I could possibly do some damage here, but Kingler has good physical defense and he could be super effective against me. So this might be difficult, guys, but I'm going to try going to Starmie and use Thunder to try to take him out. Just got to hope that whatever he does, Body Slam or Crab Hammer, whatever it is, I got to try to tank it. Can I survive? Kingler has one of the highest attack stats in the game. Oh, he paralyzed me! I definitely tanked it, but now I have the chance to get stuck, and he's going to go first, even though Starmie is normally very fast. So if he gets a critical, I am dead. If I get stuck in paralysis, I'm also dead. So that is not good. And I'm stuck in paralysis. Holy crud. I'm going to start over. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to start off with Starmie this time, because I'm more afraid of Kingler than anything else. Sorry for quitting there, guys. I got a little bit salty, but we're good now. So we're up against Kingler. I should have started with Starmie to begin with. I kind of don't like forfeiting like that, but just from playing the Pika Cup in the past... Are you kidding me? I need to beat that stupid Kingler, man. Oh my goodness. That Kingler is going to drive me crazy. Just from playing this in the past, I happen to know that that Kingler is like the hardest thing ever. And I just knew that if I continued last time, I was not going to win. Like straight up, I would not have beat that Kingler. Anyways, he's probably going to use Electric. I'll swap to Nidoking King here. It's really frustrating because I pick Starmie. He sends out Kingler, which is what I wanted, and then he just swaps. But I can swap too, my dude. So I've already used one of my continues. And here comes the Thunderbolt. I will be completely immune to that. And I'll probably just use a double kick or something like that. Maybe a horn attack would be better. I don't know. In any case, Raichu is fairly bulky, so I might have a little bit of a tough time fighting this guy. You can see he is level 18, so he's not too far off. All right, his body slam only did 16. Of course, it has the chance to paralyze, which I got to be careful about. And I think two more of those will do it, but I will try horn attack just to see how it compares. As long as he does not get uh, a paralyze on me, then I should definitely win this battle between Raichu and Curtis here. Looks like we're good so far. Get that horn attack in there. Ooh, Ooh two HP left. If I did Horn Attack on the first one instead of Double Kick, I might have had it, but oh well. I can survive this Body Slam. The only thing that can stop me, again, is Paralyzed, so as long as that doesn't happen, I'm good. It doesn't? Not even a Critical would have killed me there, I don't think. And this is almost certainly not going to miss. Boom! Got that Raichu down. And we know he has Kingler, but we don't know his third Pokemon yet, so let's see what it is. The Raichu and Kingler are his two scary Pokemon. The others are not really a big deal at all. He is sending back out Kingler. I'm going to stay in with Nidoking, and the only reason for that is I don't want to get the damage on Starmie. So I'm just going to stay in here. Once he dies, then I'll send in Starmie. I am faster, which is nice. I'm going to get a little bit of damage in there at least. Just about 14, I think that is. So he'll probably... Yep, just body slam me. This might kill me. It does not, so I can at least get one more hit in, which will make this a lot easier for my Starmie. Once I go in, I can use Thunder. If it doesn't miss, it should kill it straight up. Unless he swaps out again. Alright, we're good there. But if he swaps out, I can just go over to my Kadabra, and I should be fine. Now he's using Bubble Beam, which he should have done to begin with, I think. Alright, so Nino King's down. It's okay that I don't get a continue here, because this is one of the toughest battles, and it's just imperative that I actually win and not try to optimize every little thing to try to get a perfect. 
Because getting a perfect against this Raichu and this Kingler is tough. If you fight this guy and he does not pick these two, you are lucky. But I am not lucky. Alright, he's going to swap again. He really does not want me to fight that Kingler, dude. And he has a Magnemite. And I'm pretty sure Kadabra will have no issue dealing with this guy. Honestly, I could probably just beat it with Starmie using a, a Bubble Beam. But I don't want to risk that. So let's go to Kadabra. And I'll probably just use Psychic. I mean, Magnemite does have a pretty high special stat, but Kadabra's is really high, so I think I can still kill it. And his HP is fairly low anyways. 26 is not a lot of damage to have to deal. Or I could just even use two Seismic Tosses. Wow, Thunderbolt did a lot more than I expected, so I'm actually going to go ahead and use Psychic. I don't think Seismic Toss is the right move here. If I lower his special, that would be great. Or if I could just kill him, I would like that even more. And... Oh, why does everything live with 1 HP? I swear that's happened in almost every episode, man. Watch, he's going to get a critical. He did! Are you serious? He survives with 1 HP and then gets a critical on me, man. Holy crud. I'm pretty sure Starmie is going to got... Going to got this? He's going to get this, though. I'm going to be faster. I'm going to use Bubble Beam so I don't miss. I should be fine. This is just ridiculous, guys. Go ahead, get your Bubble Beam. Get this guy taken care of. Thank you. Now send in your Kingler. I'm going to thunder this fool. And we're going to get this crud taken care of, finally. Jeez. This is still the first battle of the episode, guys. This might be a long one. Okay. Now Thunder only has a 70% accuracy, so this could go bad if he gets Body Slam and paralyzes me again. Then I get stuck in paral paralysis again, like last time. Oh boy. Okay, we're good! I did it! I did it! Whew. Just a heads up, guys. It is currently about 100 degrees out in California where I live. So I am roasting and sweating. Maybe that's why I got a little bit hot-headed and salty at the start of the episode and, and uh, just restarted the battle, but... Anyways, we have three more to go. That time was victorious. Still have three continues left in reserve. I don't remember this guy being too tough, so I think I got this. Looks like Starmie is going to be excellent here. Kadabra will probably be great as well. And that Rhyhorn is level 20, so that's a little bit frightening. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use... Gyarados, because I think that'll be a good choice against Rhyhorn. Now, the flying type from Gyarados will give me a weakness to that, but I'm not too afraid of that. Okay, starting off with Seedra, that's excellent. I'm going to use my Thunder here, and if he swaps to Rhyhorn, I'll be very salty. But, actually, it's not a big deal, because then I can just use Bubble Beam, so even if he swaps to Rhy uh, Rhyhorn, Starmie is just a good choice. Can I one-shot? I almost can. He's going to do double edge. This might just kill himself. Alright, take six damage. Come on! Ugh, not quite. Well, I'll just go ahead and do a Bubble Beam here so I don't miss. And if he happens to swap, Bubble Beam is still good regardless. But no, this will take him out. Now, you can notice by his levels, the right horn was 20. So if he uses right horn, I know from that point that he does not have any of the other Pokemon that were beyond level 15 just because of how the system works. So this one is also 15, so he might have Rhyhorn. Um, I think he had a Ghastly that was 18, and one other thing that was 16, I think it was. So, I don't know for sure if what Pokemon he has in reserve quite yet. So he could have anything, but I'm not afraid of Ghastly because I can just use Kadabra, and I'm not afraid of Rhyhorn because I have Gyarados in, in reserve if I need him, or Starmie if he happens to make it that far. Ooh, that is some damage right there. I'm not going to use Substitute. I think I'm just going to use Bubble Beam again. Try to get some damage in before I switch off to uh, Gyarados. There we go. Actually, I think I might swap to Kadabra because I kind of want to use Gyarados for Rhyhorn if he happens to have it. So I'd like to save it for that. So Starmie down. I won't get a, per a perfect for this one. But I'm pretty sure this battle is in the bag. He's going to go ahead and grab Kadabra here. I think one more Psychic will take out Wigglytuff. 
Indeed. This is a fight between so I'll just use Psychic here. I couldn't use Seismic Toss because he's got 18. If only I was at level 18. Boom. And that takes it down. All right. So if he has Ghastly in reserve, I'm in a good spot. Machop, I'd be in a good spot. Uh, right Horn, I have Gyarados. And I forgot what the sixth Pokemon he could have chosen was. But I don't remember it being anything I was afraid of. Okay, here comes Rhyhorn, so Gyarados will definitely deal with this guy if he needs to. But I'll go ahead and have Kadabra use some Psychic in the meantime. <laughs> Why is his name Highhorn? Alright, how much does this do? Wow, more than half! I might even just beat him with Kadabra. Here he does have Rock Slide, which would be super effective against Gyarados, unfortunately. If I can survive, Psychic will finish things off. I do not, though. This is going to be tough because Gyarados has Hydro Pump. He does not have Surf or Bubble Beam. And Hydro Pump, while very damaging, has a chance to miss. A pretty high chance to miss. So if I miss and then get hit by Rock Slide, this might be bad. But I have to risk it. That's all I have. I could still lose this, guys. Please hit. Please. Yes! Got it! Alright, so that battle is in the bag. <sighs> that was stressful, dude. If I missed that, I could have just lost right there. Oh, man. I am not looking forward to this next one. The seventh battle, from my experience, is the hardest one I could possibly do in the Pika Cup. <sighs> if I can beat that, I think the eighth battle would be smooth sailing. But here we go. This has got a high chance to die. Because I'm so certain that I might die here, I'll probably just cut out if I fail. Just a heads up, guys. Because I don't want this episode to be 30 minutes again, you know? And I just lost. Let's try that one again. I kind of threw that battle away. I could have won it, but I made some bad choices. But don't worry about it, guys. The main bad choice I made was at the Pokemon Select. I chose Starmie, Gyarados, and Curtis. I should have chose Starmie, Gyarados, and Kadabra. That would have been a much better choice. And that is what I'm going with this time. So I think that'll be in a good spot here. A lot of it depends on what Pokemon he happens to use, though. Here he's starting with Arcanine, which is awesome. Now, I could swap to Gyarados to be immune to Dig, but I think Bubble Beam is going to be pretty solid here. So I'll just go ahead and use that. So, Bubble Beam! Speed fell, so that's not going to one-shot. It does over half, though, so one more hit will do it. However, he's going down for Dig, and this is the main reason I have Gyarados on my team, is this Arcanine. If he goes down for Dig... Then I swap to Gyarados, he's part flying and part water, so he's going to be excellent for beating this guy. So there we go, he'll come up, he'll completely miss. Then I can just go ahead and use Hydro Pump. It should be totally fine. And there you go. Because I'm flying, I'm immune to that ground move. Now I'll go ahead and use Hydro Pump, I think I'm faster. I am, so let's just hope this does not miss. Which it doesn't! And we get a critical, which I probably didn't need. But I got it. So there we go. One Pokemon is down. And what does he have next? He could potentially have his own level 20 Gyarados. Okay, he has Mr. Mime. I think that uh, my Kadabra could deal with this. I think that also... I think any of my Pokemon could deal with it. I'm going to go ahead and stay in here and use Bite. Because Mr. Mime is pretty high on special. Psychic will probably do more than half. So he'll probably two-shot me. And he's dropping my special as well. So it, it wouldn't have two-shot me without the special drop. It might two-shot me now that he dropped my special. Ooh, but I got a critical. Is that going to... No, it's not going to kill him. All right. So he might kill me here. We'll see if the special drop was enough. And it was not. I'm alive. All right. If I get another critical here, he's going to die. And either way, the damage is excellent, and anything I send in will kill it, because I'm pretty sure Starmie and Kadabra are both faster. So he's not going to miss, but I'm not going to bother swapping here, because I'll just get my other Pokemon hurt. Okay. So that is... That is uh, pretty good. We got Arcanine down, and Mr. Mime is looking pretty low. I'm going to go ahead and send out Starmie, because the third Pokemon he uses is almost certainly going to be Tentacruel or uh, Gyarados. So I'll start with Starmie, weaken them with Thunder, and then if it happens to be a 
If it happens to be a Tentacruel, then Psychic will be excellent for uh, Kadabra. And if he happens to be Gyarados, he'll be four time weak to Thunder, so he'll probably die in one shot. Alright, so Mr. Mime's down. And let's see your last Pokemon. The thing I'm actually most afraid of is going to be Meowth. I really hope he does not have Meowth. And he has a Meowth. Come on, game! He has two Pokemon he could choose that are level 20. He uses Meowth! Are you kidding me? Okay, at least I'm faster. Bubble Beams should do some good damage. I think I should be able to deal with this. I also dropped his speed, so Kadabra should be able to be faster if I need it. He is going to use Bite. I don't think that'll kill me. Oh, why was I afraid of Meowth? What is wrong with me? This is free. That is... Okay, guys, that is the best luck you can possibly get on this fight. She has two level 20s he can pick from, and she used neither of them. That is so lucky. That tentacle she has is the biggest beast, probably the hardest Pokemon in all of the eight battles, and she didn't use either of the level 20s. So I got so lucky there. But even if she had Tentacruel or a Gyarados, you guys saw my, my lineup was pretty much set to beat it, so I think I would have been fine regardless. But that is seven battles down, one to go. We still have two continues, and the, the worst of it is behind us, pretty much. This eighth battle, not going to be quite as hard. And let's try that again. So I decided for this episode, guys, I'm going to cut out the, the fails, just because, well, first of all, the fails were not particularly interesting or exciting like they have been before, but... Uh, also, I want you guys to let me know. Do you like it like this, where I cut out the fails, or do you like it as in previous episodes, where I keep it in? Let me know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Starmie up front again. This time, I'm also going to use Kadabra. I just think Kadabra's special stat is so good, and just really valuable to have. And, man, I guess I'll bring Curtis in as well. Actually, I'm going to reselect. Let me start off with Curtis. Because if he starts off with a water type, I can easily swap to a water type. But if he starts with a normal type, I'm in a good spot to begin with. So in this case, he once again starts with Raticate. That is in a good position here. Well, I say once again, he started with Raticate last time. So it's the same here. So I'll go ahead and use Double Kick. He's going to use Quick Attack, which won't do much damage at all, because I'm level 20 and Quick Attack's pretty weak. Double Kick should probably not one-shot it, but two turns should be enough. Ooh, Critical Hit might do it, though. It does! One shot! Nice, Curtis. Good job, bro. Let's see what he has this time. Last time, I think his second Pokemon... It was the same thing. It was slow, bro. And this is the thing that killed me. I could not deal with it. But I think that if I swap to Starmie, I should be good. Last time, my Starmie was already weak from Raticate, because I, I tried to fight Raticate with Starmie. Did not work, but... This time, it looks like it's going to be the same battle as before, but me just playing smarter. Last time was just bad play after bad play. It was not really interesting to watch. It was just face palm worthy, so... Oh, he is dropping my special, though. I will use Thunder. It'll be super effective, and I will be faster, but... That special down's going to hurt. Plus, he already has high special defense, so I don't know how many hits this will take. Can I at least two-shot him? Probably not. If I get a critical, then I should be good. Uh, please don't drop my special again. Thank you. At the very least, I can tank his psychic attacks pretty well. So let me just use thunder. Hopefully don't miss. Please do not miss. Come on. And, okay. One more. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and use bubble beam this time. So he's going to use another psychic. Unless that criticals, I should be fine. Special stat's going to drop. Do not care about that, because two damage. Even with my special down, two damage will be easy. And then we'll see what he has as his last his last slot there. I still have my whole team ready to go. I'm probably going to swap out from Starmie to get his special restored, though. And we gotcha. So I, don't, I don't need to worry about perfects at all right now, though, because it's the last battle. What do you got? We have a Fablish, Clefable. So I'm going to swap back to Nidoking. I think that's going to be the best way to go. Uh, back to Curtis. And I think we got this, guys. I just don't see this Fable or Clefable beating me right now. So I'm going to use Double Kick, and hopefully that takes it down. Oh, Thunderbolt. I'll be immune to that. Awesome. Perfect. They might also have a water attack, but I think I'll be faster. Probably won't one-shot it, though, but I think I can tank one water attack. No, not a big deal. 
And my other Pokemon can finish it off, even if they get a critical or something crazy on me. Ooh, dude, Curtis is on a roll with these criticals right now. And that is... Uh, yes! We did it, guys! All right, we beat the Pika Cup. I had two fails in there, which this time I decided to cut out, as I mentioned. But we got it! All right! Give me that trophy, let's go! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, guys! This is a good chance for me to show you guys something. These Pokemon are getting added to the Hall of Fame. If you beat the Pika Cup, the Petite Cup, or the Poke Cup slash Prime Cup Master Ball Divisions, the Pokemon that you used on that team will get added to the Hall of Fame, or the, uh, what was it called? Victory Castle or Victory Palace, I think that's what it was called. So I will go show you guys that. And there is our trophy, the Pika Cup is cleared. Awesome. But yeah, let's go to the Victory Palace, and we'll be able to see our Pokemon represented here. Now, all of the blank spots are the Pokemon we have not completed it with. Over this way, I think Pikachu is number 25, so we'll be able to find the Pikachu we just beat it with. Raticate should be here as well. And there he is. We can see him. We can also press A to see that he was a rental, so he has no trainer ID. And we can see the Hall of Fame that he made it into, which is the Pika Cup. Pretty cool. But what I'm more interested in is seeing our Pikachu. Look at that, guys. Trainer ID 65255, level 20, Thor, and from the trainer, Psycho. So there we go, guys. There is our Pikachu. And all the way over here should be our Nido King as well. So there's Curtis, guys. Awesome. So we now have six Pokemon in the Hall of Fame. Now, if you get all 151 Pokemon in the Hall of Fame, which is very difficult, very time-consuming, I don't think I'm going to be doing that during this Let's Play, but if you do that, you will actually get a special Psyduck that knows Amnesia. So that is a little Easter egg if you decide to do all that. But getting certain Pokemon like Caterpie and Magikarp and just playing through the stadiums that many times, because you can only do six at a time at most, and you'll probably have to do even less than that because you have to use good Pokemon to go with the bad Pokemon. It'll take a long time to fill this out, so I don't think I'll be doing it, but that's what you get if you do decide to do that. But anyways, guys, that is it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.